raise, touchdown raise, and swinging it through. Now, a lot of people do horizontal raise, which is just a laid back 540, or I mean tornado kick. Not really a raise. A raise is an aerial gumby, therefore, it's an aerial. If you want to do a true, real raise, do it inverted. Now you can do it touchdown, you can do it regular, non touchdown, just aerial raise. Um, no such thing as a high raise or a low raise either, because they're the same thing, just with a different takeoff. A carry through takeoff, or a swing takeoff, or you can do a cheat step takeoff. There's no such thing as a low raise and a high raise. It's just one's fast and low, the other's really high. Same thing, same move, completely same move. So, don't worry about doing one or the other, just pick a raise and do it. So, to do the raise, practice your gummies. That's a big part of your raise, practice your gummies, because then you'll get the feel of it. If you look at people who have the most godly raises ever, Crazy Asian being one of them, yeah, he practices his gummies. I'm sure he did back when, but yeah, that's a raise. So, when you're doing your raise, okay, what you want to do. If you're going to take off like a cheat takeoff, which is how I take off, for either both um, touchdown and regular, I mean, touchdown and regular are the same thing. You'll have the same effect, same swing, everything. Every It should feel like the exact same. It's all about your hips and where you're positioning your body for swinging it through. So, for the race, you can practice it like a laid back tornado just to get the feel of it, but it's not a race. Don't worry about that being your real race because it's not a real race. It's just a horizontal tornado kick with no kick and a straight left leg. So, what you do is you're going to go into it like a cheat takeoff. Now, the thing people do with the raise is they jump around the side. You don't want to jump around the side. You want to jump over the top to get your inverted raise. Much easier to through. So, what you want to do is you're going to start. My target is the camera when I'm doing this trick. So, what you're going to do is when you start, I normally do a hook kick beforehand, but we'll pretend that I already did that. So I'm going to start, my target's the camera. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn into the raise facing this way. It's to the left, your right, of my target. Okay? So that's just a, a 90 degree turn. Now, this is where I start my raise. You start your raise right here. All you do is you rotate 180 facing the other way. 180 from where you started your raise. So it's going to be my right, your left. So you're going to take off here and from here it should feel like a backflip. You are going for a back backflip. When you do this, do a backflip. Okay? Don't try and go around the side. That'll happen on its own. It's a backflip. Okay? Come in here, you do the flip. It's like a flash kick because since you're spinning, you're going to be forced to come around the side just a little bit. So if you try and go around the side, you're going to go horizontal again. It's not going to be inverted and it's going to be harder to swing through. You're not going to get as much power. So shoot for that backflip. Now when you're learning this, do it into a squishy pad because it's kind of a scary move. You don't want to land on your head and break something. That's bad. So again, let's go over it again. Okay, My target is the camera. So I'm going to have to raise away. Um, if you're a left side spinner, which I am, you're going to go to the left side. Your raise is going to travel to the left of your target. If you're right side, it's going to travel to the right side of your target. Okay? So, you, you, take, you start your raise here. You turn into it and lift your leg. Now, while you're spinning facing this way, you lift your leg. Okay? You start the lift here. Okay? It's hard to see because of how the camera is, but you lift as you spin. You lift as you spin. You go into the flip from here. So, once you're here, you should be getting ready and taking off. You hit the back foot from there. Straighten your left leg. It's hard to do, but you really should try. I try. It doesn't work, but I try. And it, it's a lot easier when you try to straighten your left leg because then you're going to come down ready to go. Because your leg's going to be straight. Don't lock your knee because then you'll hyperextend and break something. Like, it's bad. So, get your leg straight but leave it bent, okay? When you land, cushion your landing with your leg so that you don't break your knee. So when you come out of your raise, what you need to do, another important thing about the raise is the set. People don't understand that you need to set your raise, just like every other flip. Not low and fast, set your raise. If you're doing a touchdown raise, yes, low and fast. 
But if you're doing a high raise, like a non-touchdown raise, set. When you take off, you need to take off standing straight up. Because all that momentum you have is going to whip you over fast enough as it is. You really got to pull with that left leg. And if you do that right, you're going to have a fast raise. Don't worry about getting all the way around, okay? Set that raise. The more time you have in the air, the more time you have to rotate. Therefore, the easier it will be to land standing close to straight up, if not completely straight up, to where you can swing it through. Okay, touchdown raise. Same thing as a regular raise. The takeoff, or not the takeoff, but the setup is the exact same. You set up just like you're going to do your raise. The only difference is that you sit down like a back handspring. You know on a back handspring how you, you sit down when you go? Same idea, okay? When you take off, you're going to sit down into that raise. You sit down and go right on over the top. The lower you are to the ground, the easier it is because it'll feel like a scoot when you swing through. Stay low. If you try and do a really high touchdown raise and just barely touch your hand, nothing's going to happen. If this is the floor and you just go like that, nothing's going to happen. You need to bound off of that floor to get the power. You can, I mean, raise double cork out of that. So. That's the touchdown. Touchdown isn't very difficult. It's If your left side spinner, it's going to be your left hand. Right side spinner, right hand, okay? It'll be the direction you're spinning. That's the hand you put down, okay? So, <coughs> now swinging it through. Either way, it, whether you do a touchdown raise or a raise, a regular raise, you're still going to be standing up out of it. If you do your touchdown raise, once you bound off it, just like a back handspring, you push off of it, and you land standing straight up. It's just a different way to get into it personally. I just think it's stylish. There's no difference. You can do both of them. No difference. I like touchdown raise better because when I'm tired, it's easier to do because you don't have to put as much power and effort into it because I'm, you know, lazy. So when you're going to swing this, this raise through, a lot of things people do is they really whip back. You cannot whip back. You have to set the whatever's going to come out of this raise, whether it's a corkscrew, a gainer full, or it's just a straight up gainer, whether you're just going to set down and do a pop flip or a pop full or a pop corkscrew, whatever you're going to do, you have to set. So don't just whip it right back out of that raise. When you go, come up, go. Or just come up into it. Whatever you're going to do, make sure you set that the trick after the raise. Also, a raise is a good power move, but it's bad individually. My advice to you, don't just do a raise on your own, okay? But... That is a raise and how to swing it through. Um, yeah, can't think of anything else. So.